conservationists from wildlife charity World Wildlife Fund and the London Zoo are warning of a massive loss of global animal biodiversity. Their joint report published on Thursday says that monitoring groups have recorded a 69% drop in animal population overall in the last 50 years. Take a look at this next report. These beautiful pink river dolphins were filmed in Novo Airao in the Brazilian Amazon 16 years ago. According to a new report from scientists at Zoological Society of London and the World Wildlife Fund, they are among the animals whose numbers are depleting. The Living Planet report is supposed to act as an early warning indicator on the health of nature. This year's edition analyzed almost 32,000 species population. It says the number of freshwater populations monitored by scientists dropped by an average of 83%. The aim is to identify areas for conservation by highlighting the most threatened populations like whale sharks, tiger sharks and the European stagion. The biennial report highlights 10 high priority areas. They include the Himalayas, Southeast Asia, the east coast of Australia, the dry forest of Madagascar, the Albertine Rift and eastern Arc Mountains of East Africa as well as the Guinean forests of West Africa. In South America, threatened areas include the Atlantic Forest, the Amazon Basin, and the Northern Andes into Panama. World Wildlife Fund's chief scientist and senior vice president, Dr. Rebecca Shaw, says Living Planet is the most comprehensive analysis of how animals in the wild are responding to the pressures of human habitation like deforestation for agriculture or pollution. The frequency at which they are monitored is different for the different populations since we rely on partners for collecting the data. But there are 32,000 populations globally and over 5,000 species that are monitored. So it's quite robust in terms of the number of species and the number of populations. Leaving Planet Report is a snapshot of nature over the past 50 years. These are big numbers. I mean, the report says um, there is a 69% drop in monitored vertebrate wildlife populations. Uh, and some of those vertebrates are uh, dropping even more. Uh, monitored freshwater populations drop by an average of 83%. You know, these, these are huge numbers. Uh, and yes, uh, we really ought to be concerned. Scientists say the changes in freshwater populations is alarming. They say food production is one of the main causes for the loss of biodiversity. We are uh, deforesting the planet at a rapid rate to produce more and more food, even though 40% of all food produced is actually wasted. So a lot of that a lot of that inefficiency has an impact on the natural environment and therefore these species are suffering. One of the things that we can do, actually, is to, is to be more conscious about the kinds of food we're eating, where that food's coming from, if it's coming from a place where there's high deforestation rates or not, and make different choices. However, the news is not all gloomy. According to scientists, reforestation and conservation programs are paying dividends. They say a reversal in the downward trend of some species shows that humans can repair the problems they have created for some animal populations. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On, World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.